Today's topic of discussion is ageism, and if you aren't familiar with that term, it is prejudice or discrimination on the grounds of a person's age. Now, the reason I decided to make a YouTube video about this topic is because I recently had a TikTok video go insanely viral. I will leave a link to that TikTok video below if you wanna go watch it, but in this video, I was sharing my experience with ageism as a young entrepreneur, and the comment section flooded with comments from other young people who are also entrepreneurs or even just have regular nine to five jobs talking about how they've also experienced ageism. Now, before I share any more about this video, the comment section and everything about ageism, I wanted to quickly take a minute to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Kinsey. I'm the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. So next, I'd like to take a moment to address the fact that there are only ageism laws that protect people above the age of 40. In North Carolina, age discrimination is only unlawful when it is directed against people who are age 40 or older. It is also not unlawful for an employer to favor an older worker over a younger worker because of the employee's age. Now I'm going to share some of the things that were left in the comment section of my TikTok video about ageism. Ageism is a real problem. I'm 19 and applying for grad school and none of my academic advisors take me seriously. It's hard to find a job too. Generations before believed that putting in your time is a requirement for success. That's just not the case anymore. I didn't get a promotion because they said I was too young. I was 25. I graduated with my bachelor's degree at 20 and had lots of uncomfortable interviews where people made comments about my age and youth and wouldn't hire me. The fact I can rent an entire Airbnb at 18 but can't rent a car until I'm 25 is insane. An apartment wouldn't rent to me because they said I'm a big party girl because I'm 22. I've never been to a party and hate loud noises. I've had guests at work ask for an older supervisor because I look too young to be in charge. Ageism is a real problem and not talked about a lot. My brother has faced the same kind of treatment. Now, if all of those comments don't make you realize there's a serious problem here, I don't know what else has to happen to bring attention to this serious issue. I also had some really negative comments in that TikTok video where people were talking about how ageism wasn't real, they hadn't even heard of this term before, or people thought that ageism should be acceptable because a lot of young people like to party, which to me translates to stereotyping. Um, just because a certain type of people do something does not mean that all of those types of people are gonna do that same thing and should not be penalized for the actions of others. Personally, for me, ever since I started my business, ageism has been a serious problem. When I first started years ago, I used to always do the most to hide my age from potential clients. And after I got on the phone with people and I had talked to them for a little bit, I would then reveal my age. And almost every time I did that, they would tell me that they thought I was like 10 years older than I actually was because I was so mature. However, if people found out my age before they had a chance to actually talk to me on the phone, they would make quick assumptions about me and typically avoid hiring me and not even give me the chance to talk to them on the phone. Not only does ageism affect people job-wise, but it also affects people when trying to rent places, get loans, and other things of that nature. It's really shocking to me that there are only laws protecting people who are above the age of 40 and nothing currently exists to protect younger people. And I think that this definitely needs to change. And I just really wanted to bring awareness to this problem. So I hope that if you aren't familiar with ageism, now this has opened up your perspective a little bit and hopefully given you some insight into how ageism also heavily impacts young people. If any of this resonated with you, please share it. Please leave a comment letting me know how it resonated. If you've experienced ageism, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.